All right, hey, what's up, Slumber Party? What's good? All right, we out here in the beanbag trap house. This is nice. I appreciate you guys coming out and lounging on the floor. This is nice. In New York, it's raining outside. It's nasty. It's nice. It's sexy. Sexy. It's good. I want a beanbag. Have I never, never have I ever, never have I ever hated, hated my brother for being transgender. Never. <laughs> never. Real talk. I love him. Love him very much. Never, never that. I love him who he is. Love that he loves his body. Loves who he is and what he's doing. I love it, love him for it. Only thing is he's like, he's, he likes to brag to me now. He likes to brag to me now. He'll come up to me and look, man, I got more facial hair than you. I got more armpit hair than you. I didn't know he transitioned into an asshole. <laughs> Like, I'm happy for you, but you ain't got a flex on me. You know, it felt like it felt like, like the end of The Little Mermaid. Like, the mermaids are like, what's up, Ariel? And she's like, oh, y'all bitches still got flippers? <laughs> y'all still in the water? We just wanted to say hi. <laughs> I got sneakers! <laughs> All right, look, girl, we just want to tell you, go visit your father whenever you can, bitch, bye. Ariel's a dick. I'm going back up there, she gonna act like that. Love him, man, he's good. I always have love for the LGBTI community, man. I hope they get the representation and mainstream that they deserve. To the point I'm hearing they are gonna make a Black Panther 2. And I hope in this movie, the Black Panther acknowledges his brother, the Pink Panther. <laughs> I think it's time. If I can do it, he can do it. Cause I know during the first movie, he was back there like, so y'all not gonna let me fight? <laughs> I, okay, all right. I made y'all outfits. Okay, all right, Wakanda, okay. I got it. <laughs> yeah, slumber party jokes. It's like I act them out more, but why? <laughs> I feel like you guys are right about to sleep. I just want to give you a little nice joke before you fall asleep. <laughs> this is as loud as I'll get the act out. <laughs> Love New York, man. I'm trying not to drive that much, you know, and get rid of my car, because what they're doing, they're putting tolls up everywhere, getting rid of the toll booths, and they're going to do tolls by mail. So when you go through a toll, they're going to bill you in the mail. So basically, they don't want their money. <laughs> the hell is mail? Y'all still look in that box? I don't. That's why I feel bad for people that have jury duty. I'm like, why'd you open your mail? What are you doing? You 95 years old? Mailbox, they better hit me on Instagram. Like, what do you want? <laughs> on oh, Instagram, Easy Pass is following you. <laughs> Go on the DMs, like, you owe us $5. Yeah, all right, block, get out of here. I'm not paying you. Mail. No mail. I like packages. Love packages. That's all I care about, because I summoned it. You got a whole tracking number. I know your story. You my baby, you about to come here. You get a package at your doorstep, you pick it up like a child, like, oh, you had such a journey. <laughs> you went to Kentucky, Connecticut, then the Bronx, and you came here. You made it so far. <laughs> had such a journey. Then you get an envelope in the mail with your name and address on it. You're like, who snitched? <laughs> who snitched? I changed my address three times and GQ keeps following me. How they keep finding me? I don't want these subscriptions no more. We got an offer for you. Get out of my box. Stay still.
snitching. Oh. I'm like, man, I'm like that box. Ain't nothing in there. Ain't nothing in there but threats. That's all that's in there. Student loan bills, collection. If you don't pay this bill, you won't be able to register your car. Well, then take my car. I'm trying to buy a boat. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't care how many colors you make the envelope, I'm not paying it! <laughs> Get rid of these envelopes, man. Save the environment. <laughs> Lord, give him a cop a boat. All of us, man. Get a boat. Just go right down the river. Ding, 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 ding. Park on the shore. And then call an Uber and go where you need to go. <laughs> I don't need no car. Take it. Uber, Uber's cool, man. I like Uber, Lyft, Juno, whatever your preference is. I mean, we never, we never get up to the OG Uber drivers, the original Uber drivers. Our parents, <laughs> they're the OG Uber drivers. They were just aggressive. Can you pick me up from school? Well, how long you gonna be? I'm ready now. Well, when I pull up, you better be outside. I'm not waiting for you. Okay, no, you know Josh's mom's gonna give me a ride. Never mind. You have one star. I don't know why I keep calling you. These slumber jokes are brought to you by Just Water. <laughs> That's kind of cool, man, how Water has a celebrity now. Jaden Smith, the best celebrity. <laughs> All the other Waters got to step it up. I think, I think only other Water was like Vitamin Water, 50 cents, right? That was it. Then after that, Poland, Dasani, all of that to us is just toilet water. Then we look at Just Water, you're like, yeah, that's Will Smith, baby water. <laughs> I gotta support that. <laughs> I gotta support Will Smith, baby water. I'm thirsty. And he trying to solve like, oh, Of course, that's the fire water right there. Spring water. You never know what type of water is good for you, right? You ever see, just have to refer, like, which? I guess, yeah, I'm at spring water now. It's weird. It's kind of weird to think about how, like, there might be like a whole water drug cartel <laughs> guarding the spring. It's just like, this our river, fam. Don't, shh, don't come over here. <laughs> like, what white man finding springs out here? Where do you find them? Albany? I don't know. <laughs> Wanna find a spring? And just go bloop, bloop, bloop. All right, that's weird. It's a nice slumber party joke, don't worry. <laughs> love being a black man. Black men only love three things, man. Only love, we love our mama, chicken, and Dragon Ball Z. That's really <laughs> it. That's it, don't mess with our Goku, ain't gonna be no problem. Love Dragon Ball Z. What I love about Dragon Ball Z is the women in it, like, the women are so strong, like, Goku's wife, Chi Chi, oh, she's so strong. Can you imagine being married to a guy that dies and then comes back, dies and then comes back, <laughs> dies and he's wished back? After a while, as a wife, when do you step in like, all right, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm about to go save the world. Well, obviously you can't fight. <laughs> you keep dying. Why would you stay home? A green man is raising your child. Don't you care, Goku? Piccolo is this green alien that's been raising his son while he was dead. Shame. And, and then he died and go on and had to fight a whole grown man enemy by himself at 11 years old. No child should turn Super Saiyan before 18 years old. That's too young. <laughs> That's horrible.
All right. All right, let's close down this slumber party. <laughs> One more joke. Never have I ever. Never have I ever. Yeah. Yeah, I think I covered all that. I like how I love being engaged, love my fiance. It's dope. I um we have a cat and uh well it's her cat and her cat likes me so I'm honored. <laughs> So, I, cause cats, that's the only animal that you don't, you don't pick them, they pick you. <laughs> Every time I try to pet her, she would move out the way, <laughs> we'll circle back. <laughs> Stop being thirsty. <laughs> only cats make you feel like Anne Hathaway and they're Meryl Streep from The Devil Wears Prada. <laughs> hey, Libby, how are you? <laughs> Why is the cat food not ready? <laughs> It's never ready. Why isn't it ready? <laughs> Dr. Animals are dope. What I love about Dr. Animals is like you can see the appreciation on their face. They always have that face like, thank you so much. You don't know what I've been through. <laughs> like, I want to know their story. They tell you the doubt, but they don't tell you their story, like exactly what they've been through. Like, I really wish we can. Pour a little whiskey in their water. <laughs> they drink the water, then grab a cigarette, sit on the couch, and I'll tell you my story. <laughs> you call me Libby. That's not my name. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Trey. I'm a male cat. <laughs> but I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> All right. You guys sound you're awake. Uh, thank you guys for having me. I'm Nori Davis, man. Have a good night.